Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Pike Fiscal Court is going on the offensive to help preserve its current form. At this time, I would like to make a motion that we challenge the legality on the vote of the Commissioner Former Governor. At Tuesday's meeting, the court voted unanimously to challenge the validity of the vote to change the county's form of government to a commissioner-based body from its current magistrate-based government. The challenge will come by way of bringing in the question the legality of the petition to get the measure on the ballot. Magistrate Bobby Varney, who made the motion to challenge the results, said several of his constituents have expressed confusion with the ballot measure. He said his research indicated the court can pursue legal action in the matter. That was backed up by a statement by Assistant County Attorney John Doug Hayes, who said there are questions regarding the legality of the petition used to get the matter on the ballot. Hayes said the petition to get the measure on the ballot consisted of signatures from two separate petitions. And so I think that's what the National Party motion is about, for me to challenge that uh, legal issue, or raise that legal issue with a circuit court judge who would rule, yes, you can do that, or no, you couldn't do that. So. Therein lies the case. Varney said the intent is not to kill the commissioner effort, but to simply clarify whether the petition to get the effort on the ballot was legal. Also, he said to give the voters the chance to truly vote their conscience. Right at 30 percent of the people that voted in the election did not vote one way or the other on that item. A lot of people said, well, well I voted for that, said that because I don't want to change to commissioners, and I said, well, if you voted for it, you voted for, to change the commissioners. They didn't understand that. There was some older people told me that, so th there was a lot of m misconception there. And, you know, when I'm okay if that judge rules and says, well, Bobby Varney, you just wasted our time and everybody's time, it's, it stays. I'm okay with that, too, but I'm going to try everything I can to represent the people that come to me, you know, so th that's the reason I've done that. The vote to change the county's fiscal court to commissioner-based passed 57 percent to 43 percent, with 20,153 votes being cast. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.